Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can tell I'm just arriving at my permission. And don't worry, it's not gonna be just driving today. We'll continue on foot in a minute. I would also like to invite you to join me for a walk around the silo complex this weekend. We'll seek out the sky rats and we'll find some nice positions to target them. So come on, walk with me and let's shoot some pest birds. And just as I got off my car, you can even still hear the engine running. Look what I came across. Just a couple of yards away from me. I think this one is sick. But unfortunately I cannot shoot in that direction, this machinery. Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with this one. It just came back. I'm starting to think it might be even a domestic pigeon. Even though there are no tags on its legs. It's not afraid of me at all. Okay, I'm gonna let this one go. Just to be on the safe side. I don't want to shoot someone's pet. There is one pigeon over there on the yellow building and I'll be right here. I got him. Let's collect it. Him or it? There it is. I'll try to get a stance. Right here at this spot. The pigeons are over there on the top of that building. Okay, let's displace, because they displaced too, they're up there on top of the silos. And this right here is going to be my position. Targets are up there on the railing. Let's see if we can go and locate it. Okay, jump. All right. Well, there it is. That's one tough male. He flew for another 40 or 50 yards before he hit the ground. There's one up there on the silo, actually on the railing. And I'll be leaning here on this truck. I hope the driver doesn't mind. There's also some wind coming from the right. Got him. Oh, apparently they found a new place to perch on. Okay, I'll be leaning on this minivan when I shoot those. Oh, I can take my pick. Oh, whitey, let's go for it. Got him. I'm walking along the building. <laughs> that whitey fell on the other side of that roof. Oh yes, there it is. Yeah, the stash is increasing, but as soon as the cats pass by, it'll start decreasing again. 
upon the railing above the silos again and let's see if we'll find a nice position this one I guess will do and from this point I'll be shooting up there it's gonna be quite an angle And these are jackdaws on approximately the same location. There it is, the landing site is not 15 yards away from me. There we go. On to the next one. Up there. And that will be my position. All right. Uh, there it is. There goes this one, right next to the jackdaw. And just around the corner, we have a couple of them. Oh, there are even three. Let's try to get another one. There's the first one that I shot. You've seen how they do this on the movies? Okay, sorry about that, not so funny. And the other one, it remains somewhere up there. And just as I was messing with this one, I noticed another one up there on the roof. Yeah, I think we'll have to call it a day. Yeah, let's check this place out too. I hope you can hear my voice, it's quite windy here. No pigeons. Yeah, no more pigeons here either. Sometimes I even check these places to see if there are some pigeons up there. But no, not this time. So I guess it's really time to go. The cricket is getting bored. That's it for today, but we'll come back again tomorrow and get some more. Something spooked them, so they went back up on the silos and this is where I'll be. I'll be leaning here on this ledge or whatever it is and I'll even try to pull off a double kill.
You know I can't pull a double kill at this angle, but there is a whitey. Hold under. Down it goes. And there's my old cat. My old friend, the cat. It's two of them. <laughs> Here's the catch. I wonder if they can see it. Take your time. Brave birds, they were pretty quick to come back. But at this point, they're right there on the adjacent silo. I'm gonna shoot from the very same position. And this time I'll go for a double kill. Let's see if an opportunity of one presents itself. That's about 49 to 50 yards. I'm gonna shoot at this here. Hold under again due to the incline, it's about 25-30 angle. Oh, more are coming in. These things happen from time to time, I'm afraid. Sometimes when you're absorbed with trying to find the right shot placement so that you can take down two of them, actually you end up just grazing them. Fifty-two yards, thirty degrees incline. I got a crow up there. Actually, it's two of them. Yeah, leaning here on this brick wall. I'll measure the distance, try to get one of them. The distance is 57 yards. Oh, got him. Okay, this is my next position. Let's try another double kill. Okay, that's 50 yards. Good. I took the 50 yard shot from this position again. Proved to be a good one today. One more up there on the railing. Let's go for it. There it is. The cat got him, right as it hit the ground. <laughs> no more sky rats at these three silos for the time being. Let's go search for them somewhere else. So that hissing sound that you hear in the background is the elevators on the silos working. 
so they displaced right up there on that tower let's try to get some and I'll be leaning right here on this wall Now check out the feeding frenzy. I decided to adopt a new strategy every now and then. First I shoot and then I talk and explain so that I don't miss any opportunities. There it is. And that right here was my position. 50 yards away. No, I'm not going to shoot this cat. But, there is the crow that I just shot. Nah, I wish the tree wasn't there. Still, I don't think that the cat is going to do something with the crow. Or at least it's not going to eat it. I mean, the cat has a reputation after all. I just saw a house sparrow. I'm not going to say no to that. Let me show you. We'll shoot from here. And the sparrow is up there on the rooftop. I need to squeeze in here to find it. I think I see it. Yeah, there it is. Time to reload. I'm shooting the Barracuda 15s today by H&N. I just opened a brand new box actually. On the silos again, let's go after them. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be very careful from now on today. There's someone working up there. All right, let's try to get this one. If I'm lucky, I might get a second one too, the one behind.
bag. Huh. No, I think it was just one. This one is about 56 yards away. I'm shooting at an angle of about 55 degrees. Hence the cold under. Got him. I was just going around this corner when I noticed the pigeon. This right here was my position. And the pigeon was right up there on the top of that tower. Okay, I'll be leaning right over there on that wall for this one. About 60 yards, shooting up again. Hey there, buddy. Did you get enough pigeons today? You can always have more now, can you not?